rising. And for more on that, I'm joined from the Egyptian side of the Rafa border crossing by Khalid Javid, who is the CEO of Muslim Aid, which is coordinating humanitarian convoys into Gaza. Um, thank you very much uh, for joining us today. And um, tell us, Khalid, uh, this convoy that you're coordinating, it's, it's a really huge one, some, what, 112 vehicles, I believe? Yes, um, so we, we started the, um, this convoy with the vehicles, uh, 112 in total, but it has taken a delay um, because of the lack of the trucks and so forth. Um, so it's still happening, but it's a delay at the moment. And we know the situation on the Rafa border uh, and the delays uh, that are happening uh, for this. OK, so have any vehicles actually got into Gaza yet? Um, we're hoping uh, that two trucks will get in by tomorrow, another 12 in the next few weeks. And then after uh, the celebration of Eid, uh, then the other 100 will be getting in. Uh, and what are you bringing in to Gaza? The bare essentials. Um, you've got your food, you've got your hygiene kits, you've got your dignity kits. Um, and, and something that we have done, uh, we, we, we've taken the consideration of a lot of the health needs inside Gaza at the moment. So we procured, and this is one of the things which I'm doing in Egypt right now, is procuring gluten-free products uh, to help with the children, especially with celiac and other people with health conditions and health issues over there. And what you're seeing now, I believe, are that the problems in Gaza are having an impact an impact on the Egyptian side of the border where you are. Tell us more about that. It's, it's having an impact uh, on every every crossing. But in the Rafa border, what we're seeing is we're seeing multiple delays and there's hundreds of trucks uh, waiting to go in. Uh, on the Egyptian side, there, there is a, uh, a bottleneck, uh, as, as we can say, but that, that only happens once it passes the Egyptian side and then it gets to the checkpoints where every item of goods on the trucks that come in from Egypt get offloaded and they get inspected. And the real bottleneck is that truck is not allowed to proceed any further. There's only a certain number of drivers which have been given an actual license to drive into Gaza from the Egyptian side. And there's no trucks in the, the, the level of trucks in Gaza are limited and the level of fuel is limited as well. Thus, it creates a bottleneck, which is, uh, as you can see from your pictures, uh, that you've shown many, many times of the backlog of trucks in Egypt at the moment. So you'd like to see, a, no doubt, a humanitarian ceasefire uh, from all the parties to this uh, to allow this aid to get to where it's needed? Look, delivering aid into Gaza is a matter of life and death uh, for the people. Uh, but uh, as we've just discussed, it's really difficult to do so. Uh, a humanitarian ceasefire is, is essential uh, because, as, as it was mentioned, um, in the IPC report, um, they're on level five at the moment, which is famine. There's a million people on famine. Level four is emergency. Level three is crisis. Gaza is at breaking point, if not is broken already. And the world is sitting by with, yes, we understand this political instability there. We understand all of this. But as humanitarians, uh, it's our job to save lives. And we have to come together and, and work in parallel with uh, the international laws with uh, everything that is going on, working in parallel to save lives. OK, uh, Khalid Javid, thank you very much for your time today. CEO of uh, Muslim Aid, which is coordinating that uh, convoy into Gaza. Thank you. Uh, to Turkey now, where President Erdogan's ruling party has suffered its biggest ever defeat in local elections. The main opposition party, the CHP, has won in the six largest urban centres, including Istanbul.